Hello again. Um, I was having a, a little conversation with Binary Dinosaurs on Twitter about the, this is a Pine Power, it turns out, um, clone power supply. And uh, somebody else in the thread, let me find who that was. Yeah, Retro Theory said that um, they'd had problems with uh, their Pine Power um, with the back of the USB C port not soldered in properly. So I kind of want to check that out. Now there's, uh, I, I pulled off one of the rubber feet on the bottom, which I've now lost, and uh, it's not got any screws. There's nothing on the top to come off. This I'm pretty sure this is molded, the top part. The, uh, the rest of it's molded. There's no join anywhere around here. So it looks like this front panel comes out and I've had a good prod and poke around and I got one end to unclip so I'm gonna see if I can make some more of it unclip it's, um, hmm. caught here might have broken it Yep, warrant is now void. We've got a bit that's rattling now. There we go. Well, at least it's out. Cool. There's my broken bit. Yeah, it's fine. We can live without that. So now what? Is that? <laughs> I, I can't get hold of this, so. How is that? I'm sure that's just slid in there. But that surround looks like it's on this switch. Might stop it. I wonder if I can push it. Oh, I can. It moved. Yes. Not sure how that switch is attached though. Oh. It's in there tight. I really don't want to break it. Don't see any other way, and I don't trust it. <laughs> now that I've seen that, oh, ah, right, those clips. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, you have to. Right, so there's a. Uh, right in tight here. Um, there's a, the clip that held the front panel on. Here, 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 and here is actually stopping this from sliding out so I'm gonna to have to somehow bend all four of these out of the way and push from the back this is unpleasant so let's get Probably going to lose these in here now. One of those in there. One of those in there. That side looks all right. This side is tight. But if I push this side, the other side's going to be tight. So I'm going to put one in each. Oh, what's that? Now the spare screw from something. Hmm. 
I don't know if I'll ever be able to get this back in. There's nowhere to lever it. There's nowhere to grip it. Side clips are catered for. The bottom clip, I'm sure, is not a problem. This top one is a bit of. A, oh, that's better. Okay. Still not moving. Missing anything. I'll put more force into this than I would like. Good, there we go. Oh, kicking and screaming into the world. Okay, so that's the power switch. Oh no, it's not. That's the QI charging pad. The power switch is not coming out. That's all right. We can see what we need to see here. Right, it's all right. Put some goggles on so I can see. I don't like the way oh I don't like the way um where is it something's been chopped off there but it's not terrible I don't see any problems there I think look at the back of the USB C port, they're all soldered. But I can't see anything broken and I can't see anything not soldered. The soldering is not brilliant. There's a bit there that's a bit average. Um, what is that on? Looks like it's uh, the power. Oh, it's going to be a massive ground plane. I probably haven't got a soldering iron that will melt that. <laughs> yeah. Um, did see something. A little bit of um, spare solder here. Where they've chopped it off. You see that? Yeah, it's not perfect, but um, it will do. Now let's see if I've broken it. trying to put it in the wrong way around. Did 
Ты знаешь? Yeah, what's wrong with screws? That's not all the way in. Does it still work? Didn't kill it. Okay. Well, that was fun. Right, before I wrap this up, um, I, I've just caught up with the rest of the Twitter conversation um, with Barony Dinosaurs and Rob Schmidt. And the, the problem that Binary Dinosaurs was having was the, um, this is the older version. This is the same as the older version of the Pine Power which has only got figure eight mains cable, so therefore no uh, earth going to mains. Um, and a lot of the problems that people are having are when they're powering their pine seal from this, the, um, the tip of the iron has half of ground, uh, half of mains voltage on it, um, which isn't ideal. Some people are getting sparks and um, it crashes the pine sill as well. So I haven't tested anything of that yet. One of the solutions is to cut up a USB cable and um, connect the ground on that to earth um, and that apparently solves it. Um, some people have, I'm told, um, added an earth somehow, but I'm not confident of doing that safely. So I might just go with the, uh, if I'm going to power my pine cell off of this, I might just go with the, I don't need all of these really all of the time. So I can lose a socket. Um, I'll, uh, I'll chop up a lead and connect it to some earth over there. That shouldn't be a problem. I've got a handy earth. I can, I can do that with. So yeah, um, not ideal. There is a newer version of the actual, the, the genuine pine power that has a tri so, uh, plug socket um, with an earth on it. So, and that apparently solves all the issues. Uh, not ideal, I wish I'd known about it before <laughs> I done, before I bought it. It's, but it's like anything, you live and you learn, or you try to learn. Sometimes you live and you don't learn. Oh, that's stuck on there, that's good. Is it gonna stay on? Yes, it is. Okay, um, so I can't recommend the cheap Chinese one. In, uh, it's just, I don't recommend it if it's got this earthing problem. I've, I've had problems like this before on other devices and it's not pleasant <laughs> when you go to uh, attach something or touch something on a board that's sensitive and you get 100 volts worth of sparks coming out. I don't think it's high current so I don't think it's too serious. It's not going to uh, arc weld your um, the tip of your pine seal to the board, but it's it's enough to probably damage some um, some silicon if you're uh, uh, if you're unlucky. So yeah, okay, not recommended. Um, but yep, hope that was useful. <laughs>